One of our viewers asked this question, where should I invest $750 today? We're going to explore this question and more, so stay tuned for the full episode. Thank you for watching. This is Richard with Wisdom Investor. We're going to explore this question here today. I'm going to give some input, and if you have any input on your end, leave a comment. By the way, I know a lot of the viewers on the channel here don't always have a lot of money to invest. You can invest for as little as $5 at a time with Charles Schwab. So if you want to get started investing and haven't, you can start as little as $5, $15, $20. We're looking at the chart of the S&P 500. Now this viewer was asking where they should invest today. We don't have a lot of background information on this viewer other than they want to invest $750 right now. The two major questions that I would have in this particular situation is what am I going to use to invest in? And the second thing is when and how. Now this investor wants to invest right now. The short answer that I have to this question right now as far as investing right now, the market right now is at some highs. You can see in the past, typically we're in it, these highs, it'll eventually push back down. However, the other side of that is we don't know when this market could continue going up. With $750, what I would do is break that up into three different purchases. It's $250 each time. Now, if the investor wanted to actually get something going right now, the investor could do $250 right now and then wait a month and do another $250 and then wait another month and do another $250. That way, if there's any pullbacks in the market, the investor would possibly be buying at a lower price. Of course, we don't really know if that's the answer. The second thing is we don't know a lot about the viewer's risk tolerance. We don't know much about the viewer's investment strategies in the past, how much money they have. But let's just assume, since they're asking this question, they're new and they're trying to get started. I would use the S&P 500 as my vehicle to invest in. You can get an S&P 500 ETF through any of the major brokerages. Let's see what Warren Buffett has to say. He says, don't invest this way or you're certain to get worse than average results. He goes on to say, the Oracle of Omaha says you're better off sticking with an index fund that tracks the S&P 500. Now, Warren Buffett himself buys stock. So why is he saying buy the S&P 500? Well, Warren Buffett, he enjoys investing he spends from sunrise to sunset thinking about investing. He has a staff of people. He knows when to buy and when to sell, and he enjoys this. Individual investors just getting started are probably better off using the S&P 500. You're diversifying your investments. You're not buying just one single company. Now, I'm not against buying stocks. Now, buying stocks does take a little bit more care, a little bit more involvement. You've got to watch it. You've got to know when to buy, when to sell, or at least know what stock to buy for the long term if you're thinking more long term. What I would do if I was this investor, I would break up the $750 to three different purchases, $250 each, and use the S&P 500. Again, if you're a new investor, you don't have much money, you can start as low as $5 per month and start an investing plan. If you're young, in your 20s and 30s, this is the best time to get going. If you're in your 50s and 60s, you can still put money away. It does add up over time. So stay tuned for future updates. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments.